Well, hello, everybody. It's Melanie Ferguson here with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. If you are catching this broadcast on replay, type hashtag replay. But if you're catching me live, as in right now, go ahead and say hello and let's get started because this is going to be a super fun Pinterest evening. Um, if you've never visited one of these broadcasts, basically I broadcast and share my screen and let you see the inside behind the scenes of my Pinterest board. Hey there, Beth. How are you, Judy? Um, you guys come on in. We're going to go through some exciting pins tonight. I cannot wait. Yes. Thank you, Beth, for sprinkling. Sprinkle the video like you would any other video. So more of our friends can see this. I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and get started because I have kind of almost double the pins than I usually have. So I want to get started. I am going to share my screen. Make sure that it is going to show up for you guys. Okay. We are going to start on a board tonight night that is super fun. It is actually my Christmas, uh, Buffalo check Christmas. Let me make sure you guys can see me. Let me know if you can see, uh, you're not going to see me, but see my screen and you can see Buffalo check Christmas. Yes, Susan, I can't wait to show you. And listen, guys, for your best experience, if you've never hopped on, you're going to want to flip your phone to the side. So that means turn your phone over to the side and you can see a full screen of everything I share with you tonight. OK, yay. Thanks, Pamela. I'm going to pop back over here and get started. All right. So this is my Buffalo Check Christmas board over on Pinterest. If you've not followed me before, I am up here. I'm Pinterest.com Southern Crush at Home. OK, and this just happens to be the Buffalo Check Christmas board. So they're probably randomly scrambled now, but I just kind of want to show you the things that I found super cute and thought would be so fun for making for this Christmas. If you're into Buffalo Check. Now, listen, let me just tell you something really fast. If you don't like Buffalo Check, you probably aren't going to like anything on the video tonight. OK, if you love Buffalo Check, you are going to adore everything I share with you tonight. So that being said, this looks like the easiest DIY ever. And I love the idea that they mix and matched red Buffalo Check and white Buffalo Check together. And I'm going to kind of go through these pretty quickly tonight because I like I said, I have doubled the pins. This one was, um, and you know, guys, I'm probably going to say really cute um, many, many times <laughs> because it's true. Now, she's a sweet friend of mine. She makes the most amazing wreaths. And I thought these bells were the cutest thing ever. So pay attention here. You can see where she's got these little vintage red trucks resting right on top of these red and white and black and white Buffalo check big bows, right? How stinking cute is that? And listen, you could make these bells. And that's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, okay, so you get a galvanized bucket, you stencil on it, you turn it upside down, you put one of these gorgeous bows on it, you find that little stinking red truck and you glue him on there. What do y'all think? Give me some hearts if you think that's something you could DIY. I pretty much am sure that you can. And I think these are awesome, super awesome. OK, and when I'm live on this uh, sharing the screen, I can't see what you're saying, but I will go back and look at your comments. So comment as if I'm reading them back to you. <laughs> so this looks like an easy pillow to make. Notice how they have literally put little cutouts of ornaments on here and they added a little piece of jute twine and a little jingle bell. Um, this could also be twine right here or they could have drawn that on with ink. I'm not certain. But I just thought this might be a really cute DIY project that I might try out with you guys this fall. And then if you scroll on down, you can see how cute it is on this bench. And they've made several little pillows. But then I really liked this one, too. 
see how they just cut out the letters. Now I'm sure it's stitched, but I would just do a no sew version of this because I'm all about the shortcuts. Let me know in the comments below if you um, sew or if you would probably do the no sew. Either way, I'm sure is fine. All right. This idea is just a quick little easy, almost like a cheat, but I loved it. Well, first of all, they added cotton to their Christmas tree here, which I think is pretty unique, pretty interesting, but how, I don't want to say stinking a million times, but stinking cute is this. They took these two baskets in varying sizes. They painted the bottom or maybe they came that way. And then they, um, let me hide this so you can see. And then they wrapped just a single piece of probably wired Buffalo check ribbon around the waist of these baskets. I almost would do that for every day, y'all. I almost would do that for every day. How cute is this? I like have to just sit here on this pen for a minute and just drool because I'm actually really loving the pop of the white cotton pieces that are coming out of the tree. The simplicity of the fact that the tree doesn't even have anything on it. And then the baskets. Stop it. Cutest ever. Love, love, love that idea. Guys, we are rapid firing ideas for Buffalo Check Christmas. It's over on my board on Pinterest. If you are just joining us, welcome. Come on in. You haven't missed a thing. You can always go to this board and see all of the things that I pinned later. Um, but we go through it together so I can show you why I like it and how I think you could re, uh, create it. So look at this y'all. I still have one of these log slices and I didn't know what to do with it, but I'm loving the idea of finding that little truck and this little camper. And then they've put just a little vase behind it. You see, that's like just a dollar tree carafe or something. And they've hung a joy sign on it. I just thought this little vignette was really cute, really precious, different because it's got a little bit of different elements to it with the camper. Um, anyway, you could always just put ornaments on the wood slice. I like the idea. So this is a bow and I know that I'm in love with the messy bow, um, but I think I'm going to try this bow out for you guys. It's like a layered bow. And they have just taken these um, two different fabrics and it looks like the tan one is not burlap. It's just a wired ribbon that they have uh, made three hoops with. And then they put on top of it a Buffalo check um, bow and then they dog eared both of them and it's sewn. So, uh, it, I mean, it's for sale for $8 at Kirkland's. I think we can make these, but my point with it is I'm liking the idea that they, they hung it as an ornament. Look at that. Do you see that, that they hung it as an ornament? What a cute idea. I bet this is really little too. Well, it says how big it is, but anyway, I probably will be recreating something like that for my tree. And so stay tuned. All right. Speaking of trees, you guys look at this. This is so cute. I've seen tons of trees with the little legs sticking out of it, the witch's legs, the elf's legs. I have never seen one with buffalo check legs. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at how cute this is. Okay, they are for sale. Again, it's Kirkland's, of course. I am thinking I may have to get these because... I mean, you can make them, but it says you get two, a set of two of them. Is it two legs or four legs? I don't really know what I think they mean by two set of two. I think two whole, I think it's two whole sets of two legs. I think you get four legs all together because you, you, some of them, they show it like the elf diving in the side of the tree and you could put one lower down on one side and one higher up on the other side. Y'all, I may have to get these anyway. How cute are those? I love them. And they will go with one of my trees that I put up. I already know. So 
Give me some hearts if you love those elf little legs. They're precious. So speaking of Christmas trees, this is this board is all Buffalo Check Christmas. This you can make. You could totally remake this. It doesn't have to be sewn. Obviously, sewn is better, but it is just a piece of burlap, and then it's got the Buffalo Check ruffle. I'm in love with the Buffalo Check ruffle on this. You could totally use fabric hot glue, fold it over, fold it over, fold it over, and make your own ruffle. Um, you could just get really creative with this, but I loved the idea that it was both the burlap and the Buffalo Check together. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? There's such a delay. So hang tight. We are going to get back to the next pin. We are rapid firing these pins off because we have so many to go through tonight. Um, and I want to get to all of them. Okay. So this is a cute little, uh, that's not an ornament, but it's a decoration for your tree. And it is from my friends over at Trendy Tree. And it is one of these wired poinsettias. Do you say poinsettia or poinsettia? I think I say poinsettia, but uh, at, what I loved about this was that there's these cute little edging ball balls on these. I've not seen those before. And then these cute little jingle bells in the center, y'all. Um, I bought some of these wired Buffalo check poinsettias um, last year at Joann's, I think, in with the picks. And they're not as cute as these and they're squished and messed up a little bit. And so I may have to look into getting some more, but I thought that was really cute. And then look at this ribbon down here, y'all. It's got Buffalo check fabric covered buttons on the ribbon. Come on, come on. Look at this. So cute. So cute. All right. Uh, more ornaments, I believe, are to come. I'm just checking here to see. There we go. First, we're going to look at this. This, I thought, was a unique idea of something to do with your sleds. So I don't personally have a sled yet. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect sled, of course. And some of them are so expensive. Uh, if you get a real vintage one, um, I'm talking about a real life sled, not like a little ornament. And so what they did was they took the wooden part, the base, and they've painted on a Buffalo check pat pattern like stencil. I don't know if I would paint it or decoupage it. Would you paint it or decoupage it? I don't know. I'm excited to find me a sled though and make it Buffalo check. And I don't know if I'll go with red and white. I mean, red and green, whatever this is, red and black, or if I'll go with white and black, but the sky's the limit and these are really cute. And I kind of like the idea of mistletoe hanging from this too, as opposed to the traditional. Give me some hearts if you're liking these ideas, guys. We are buzzing through them really quickly. Um, so these are like an ornament, but it could also be a tree topper. So you guys that have been following me for a while know that I made my own or I repurposed my own uh, top hat last year for the top of my Christmas tree. This is a set of three, it says, in different sizes. But I liked the idea of it being solid buffalo check if you were going with that theme. And I also liked the idea that these were flocked. So it kind of gave it a little something extra to make it pop. And I also liked this velveteen ribbon that's tied around the base of the hat and the way that the little pieces of the ribbon, uh, the bow drape off the back of the hat, if you can see that. So I really like these. All right, let's get here and look at this. Y'all, this is something you could totally recreate on your own. And that's why I picked it. Just a simple wreath with a big fat flannel buffalo check print 
ribbon. I think I even have some of this. And it's on a regular styrofoam ring. And then it's got the just the little piece of greenery up here. I think it comes together beautifully. Um, I like it. I like it. I think it's simple and different. Simple and different, guys. Okay. Let's go down to this. Now, you guys have seen these a, a, a lot lately. Um, or I did a lot last year. And uh, I just never ended up making any. I, I want to know if you have made these yet. They're the cone Christmas trees, styrofoam. But these, they wrapped some buffalo check pattern fabric around them. And so, and then they just use them as accent pieces on the mantle here. I really am liking this idea, the simplicity of it. Um, I almost feel like I would add a little something to it. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but. I just thought that was a cute idea. So I wanted to share it. Okay, let's go to this last row here. I think this actually might be, hold on y'all. Pinterest wants to give me some ideas. <laughs> like I need more ideas. So this was a cute DIY that reminded me of the candle that I did for you guys where we use an iron and we, Put, um, we decoupage with an iron over a candle like a napkin. So I thought this would be cute to just do a plain buffalo check pattern around the candle. What do you think? And you could go with any color on this whatsoever. And of course, any design. If you just use napkins, of course, you could use any design. But I kind of liked the way the plain buffalo check um pattern was on that. So we're going to pop over here. And this is just a cute little behind the sofa console, con console table. And they've decorated it uh, really cute with this little cake pan uh, tiered tray and all of this furs and trees. I love the uh, little uh, felt wool ball tassel mixed with a tag tassel, two of them, if you can see them, a sign down here, and then these cute buffalo check pillows. I just think it all comes together so cute. I thought it was worthy of sharing um, with you guys. If you have a little area with a table and you want to do something extra, you could add things like this to it. Okay, I really liked these little ornaments. Guys, these are just balls, styrofoam balls, and they have wrapped fabric around them and tied them with a bow. Tied them with a little bow. I would probably do them a tiny bit differently. In fact, I already have some ideas brewing in my mind, brewing in my mind. They had different sizes. There's a big one back there and then a smaller one up front. And then to kind of give you a closer up view or a closer up version of those, I pinned this other version of them here. And I thought these were really cute. I liked how they have twine and little red beads on them. Um, it's a little smaller gingham check than it really is a buffalo check, but it's the same concept having the black and white pattern. And, you know, Oh, you can use plastic ornament balls. You can use styrofoam balls. I would probably, well, whichever one was the least expensive is what I would grab. But you don't even have, I mean, there's nothing to these. You wrap them up in the fabric. So guys, sometimes my computer crashes and I get that kind of a thing. I'm getting a new computer this week. I'm so excited. I've ordered it and it should be here on Wednesday. So I can't wait to share my Pinterest with you next weekend and not have any issues. Okay, so when we are looking at this, I know we do lots and lots of projects with wood blocks and you've seen the wood blocks with GIF, you know, made up to look like GIFs before probably, but I'm loving the idea of using the Buffalo Check ribbon 
around it with these jingle bells on top. I haven't seen it with the jingle bells on top. And I just thought the varying sizes and the fact that they're actually chunky blocks of wood made them different, unique. I loved how they're sanded and made to look rustic. Um, those were really a cute idea to put out on maybe like an entry table by a small tree, or um, you could put them on a, a dresser or somewhere else next to something else if they're really small. Now, if you made them really large, you could put them outside on the front patio. Okay, this one is so adorable. I'm loving the collar there, the collar on the tree. Now, they've used a bunch of stuff, right? They've used these coils and all of this rigmarole. Is that a word? R rigmarole, whatever, to try to make this. I think you can recreate this with anything. I have personally one of those galvanized collars and I'm not in love with it really anymore. So I can drape and I have this uh, piece of quilting material that is buffalo check. I can drape that around it and make it a buffalo check collar. In fact, I think I did last year. So get creative. You can even use just a lampshade. And if you have any old lampshade, put it as your tree collar and shove some material around it. And that can be your, um, your buffalo check tree collar. Okay, guys, last but not least, we have one more pin tonight. I told you we had a lot to go through. It's longer than usual, but um, I definitely don't want to miss this pin up here. Ah, it's almost my favorite. Almost my favorite. I think the elf legs are my favorite, y'all. Okay, buffalo plaid painted pots. Now, they painted these, but I'm thinking you do a little napkinizing on here. Oh, my gosh. I had no idea it was musical. <laughs> I had no idea it was musical. Well, this will get us in the mood, won't it? Let's watch. We'll just learn how to make it really quickly right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So they took some of the black in with some of the red to make the different colors. I see that. So cute. That doesn't get you in the mood. I don't know what does. Let's just turn it off. Um, so cute. And we just learned how to do it, didn't we? Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, weekly pinspiration. Uh, give me some hearts if you did. And of course, sprinkle to your friends or to your profile so that you can keep it for later. Um, if you want to refer back to it. And I super appreciate y'all. If you haven't signed up yet for the Fall Craftathon, be sure to go to fallcraftathon.com and do that for me. Um, you still have time. I'm popping that off. And so, yeah, I'm super glad. Um, no, whoever typed uh, replay, you are not on replay. Uh, let's see here. Ruby, you are, you are watching it live. And so, yeah. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday evening and a wonderful week this week. I hope you guys stay blessed. Bye-bye.